Parra from Pentagram. I'm at the AGI or RG um, in London. I want to show a video of um, work that's been um, some typography that uh, Hamish and uh, Paul had uh, done with uh, 3.6 and uh, we utilised it in a project for MIT uh, with these KUKA robots. And this sort of robot making cocktails is a very sort of surreal idea and they made beautiful cocktails <laughs> and uh, the way they would interact with the Maker Shaker system is um, anybody that had a, a phone, uh, a smartphone, could actually dial up the, um, uh, the URL. Um, the interface will come up, you punch in your Facebook um, information and then what would happen is that your profile would come up with your thumbnail and it would generate a system and then you would start to create that cocktail so you would start picking the types of alcohol um, the measurement of alcohol it would, you know if you went over a certain amount it, you know and tell you to stop at, at every single stage there are three robots right, that did specific things um, you would basically travel along the, uh, the interface and the robot would identify you and then start creating the, the drink for you and then pass you into the next one. Start adding more to the next one to finish the job and then um, you know, place it right in front of you. We sort of had this, this sense, of, um, sense of self, self-worth as in um, for, um, you know, providing um, a product that could sell itself instead of a service. And I often see design as a, more of a service than um, as a, you know, a tool to actually create a um, product for. This particular project um, is, is really to do with uh, more like infographics and data visualization. So it kind of came out of a project that we're working on for a museum in DC where we're trying to create maps Carter, in a sense, is a personal project. It was sort of initiated from the fact that I was really pissed off um, with clientele. And uh, Carter is a way for um, you know, people to map information, but in a more sculptural manner. So it's not flat. It's all um, um, sculpturally generated that you can actually hang on your wall. I have um, a, 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 you know, one version in actually at, at home, which is a lot. Some people come into my house and say, what, what's that? That's really interesting. I miss home a lot. And so this is my kitchen. It's five foot in height and uh, it's incredibly lightweight and it was really fast to build and it's all engraved and uh, it has all the counties um, including the counties in, in Ireland. What I'm trying to do is um, look at them from the point of view of the artistic and the expressive and also um, the function of them as well and so they become these sculptural pieces that you have in your house um, that you can, they are talking points, they were potentially moments in time that uh, uh, you've captured within these particular maps. Maps have become this um, utility that uh, we always took for granted before, but now we, we really have to read maps. And so what we're trying to do is provide the, um, these as sort of objects, object DARs that you can attach to your wall and then um, you know, tell people more about it or even find out more. We've done at least three different maps, but you can do as many as you want. We wanted to do uh, something slightly different with Britain, and we, we basically took the road maps of, of Great Britain, and I was sort of intrigued by the idea that roads actually create countries now, like there are kind of like borders or intersections. And so this is, I think these are the, uh, the minor A roads in, um, um, in the British Isles, then the major A roads. It's amazing, right? Like the roads make the country. And then, I, then we were like, okay, what if we sort of um, made it into sort of like um, um, different plates that could actually sort of come together and it would be extruded. And we sort of looked at that and we were like, well, maybe we should turn it into gold. It was just really intriguing how when you sort of apply these sort of layers that it sort of creates the, this sort of country. My advice to aspiring designers is to, um, you know, if you have a, a good idea, tr just try your best to produce that idea without the sense of a client. Um, 
um, I, I think it's really sort of important. Or if a client had a concept that you thought was absolutely stupid and you had a better concept but yet they didn't want to listen, make sure that they don't own that concept. Make sure you own the concept and then you produce it.